Hello and welcome to the latest unveiling from Felipe Boats. Last time we were in the Museum of Ancient Ships in Pisa, where we looked at the new F-69 and F-70, specifically designed for elite men and elite women. This time we've moved just down the coast to Donoratico, the headquarters and home of Felipe Boats. We're here at the Tenuta Argentiera, a stronghold 200 meters above sea level here in the heart of the Castagneto Carducci municipality in the northern Marema of Tuscany. We've got breathtaking views of the Tyrrhenian Sea and we're in the Bulgari Rosso region where fine wines have been produced for years and become world famous internationally. Just like Filippi, who continue to grow their international relationships like the new partnership with US Rowing in the preparation for the Paris 2024 Olympic Games. Now, on to our reason for being here today. We're going to take a look at this new unveiling, which is the F-68 for doubles and pairs. You can immediately see the stunning lines of this hull design created by the engineers at Filippi. They've kept the traditional white from Filippi, but this time matched with the official orange and white stripe of the Dutch team, the proud new owners of this particular boat. This being the F-68, it's crafted for senior women. It measures in at 9.9 .9 meters long and 35.7 centimeters wide at the waterline. It's made for athletes with an average weight between 75 to 85 kilos. Now the hull has had some new engineering crafted into it where the engineers have used some of the latest and most advanced technology and software to really understand the dynamic water pressures that are inflicted on a hull through the full course of a rowing stroke, through the catch, the drive, and the finish. They're particularly looking at that fluid to structure interaction between the water and the boat hull to really understand how an athlete's mass that moves up and down the slide combines with their strength profile as those stresses and pressures are distributed across the immersed section of the boat. All of that research, they then combine with competition data that they've been studying for years to really understand the changing ergonomics and growing strength profile of particularly female athletes over time. All of these things are really important to understand in that science when it comes to looking at how the boat pitches through the course of a rowing stroke. The goal being to minimize the wetted surface area by keeping the boat level whilst maximizing the hull volume to create as much stability through all phases of the stroke as possible. And that all boils down as well to some clever positioning of the center of gravity of the boat. Now when you bring together all of these things, you create a hull that is optimized for athletes with an average weight between 75 to 85 kilos. So it could be a curious investigation or option for some lightweight men as well. Now when we look at some of the other changes that they've made here, the engineers have also looked at the F-46, the F-13 and the F-30 to continue proving on some of those previous designs where they want to continue improving the longitudinal stiffness of the boat. But they've also made the gunnels of the boat more vertical to create some more space for the sliding seat. These gunnels then connect down here to a heightened and raised deck or canvas area with an increased volume in the stern that creates a particularly stable platform at the catch. Really important for a more forgiving boat stability when it comes to athletes who might make the odd technical issue at the catch. So more stable due to the gunnels connecting directly on to the deck and that increased volume. They've also added in a metric measurement system into the boat here where Athletes can make a more quick adjustment to their specific stretcher position, runner or rails and seat so that whenever they jump in or out of a Felipe boat, they know exactly where these positions are versus the work line of the boat. These come as standard now in all Felipe boats. So this hull design has been expertly crafted and now fitted here with a carbon backwing rigger, the Alianti rigger, which has been designed for greater stiffness and rigidity to really transmit all power with no flexion from the oar down through the stiff and rigid rigger into the hull for maximum boat speed. 
All of these changes have a sweet spot as well. The engineers found that at 34 strokes a minute, there is that perfect combination between athlete strength, boat rigidity and stiffness for maximum boat speed and forward thrust. Now, I'm sure you'd love to hear more technical specifications from me, but for a full tech spec rundown, you can go along to the Felipe Boats website, where you'll also find contact details if you've got any more questions about the boat or how to get your hands on one. But for the time being, I hope you've enjoyed seeing this new beautiful F-68 for senior women. It's a stunning addition to the Felipe line of boats here at our latest unveiling in the Tenuta Argentiera. It's been great talking to you about it. We hope to see you at the next unveiling when we see the next lineup in the Felipe boat range. But for the time being, it's been a pleasure talking to you about this. We'll see you at the next one. Goodbye for now.